Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 2nd December 2018. I am Sagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's topics, we'll use the Q360 degrees tools first to look at oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of market ETFs. Along with aligning the trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry's strength. We'll study that using industry scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas from our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis with US oil, the oil ETF. We are Looking at it using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps you decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. The weekly chart shows that oil is continuing to drop sharply, all the candle colors are bearish magenta for many weeks now. Activity had been very high for three successive weeks. If you are following the market roundups regularly, then you know our last swing trade entry decision was made on this day. That was a breakout short entry opportunity. Since then, oil dropped sharply Partial profit could be booked along the way and the remaining position could be held trying to let profit run. Gold ETF GLD The weekly chart has an indecisive shape candle with both lower and upper tails. The weekly candle color is also neutral yellow. In the daily, gold is inside a triangle pattern formed by resistance memory trend line at the top and support memory trend line at the bottom. Because it is in a sideways move, you may stay away from taking any directional trade in gold until it breaks out of the triangle pattern in either direction. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts, along with three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline, and up down volume. Because this analysis is using broad indices, and weekly interval, it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions 
not so much for swing trading and certainly not for day trading. This week both NASDAQ and NYAC went up creating a sharp reversal from previous week's drop. NYSE has displayed the headwind reversal signal. Both NASDAQ and NYSE are moving inside kind of triangle patterns. The direction will be clearer if it can break out of the triangle pattern in either direction. The internals are mixed this week. New high low went down and closed below zero for both NASDAQ and NYSE. All the other four internals, up down volume as well as advanced decline, went up and closed above zero. Based on the price move and the internals, we may conclude that both the indices are indecisive now. There is no clear trend in the broad indices. Let us see if the same conclusion is arrived from market ETF analysis. S&P 500 ETF SPY in the weekly chart it created a sharp reversal. The weekly chart has also displayed the headwind reversal signal. In the daily chart, the headwind reversal signal could catch almost the very bottom. From there, price went up, tried to retest that level and went up from there again. It was inside a triangle pattern. On Friday, price closed above the memory resistance. SPY trend is still not clear. You may stay away from taking any directional trade in SPY based on the daily chart. You may use fine tune intraday chart to take trades either in the long or short direction using precision entry techniques. NASDAQ ETF QQQ the weekly chart created a sharp reversal. Daily closed above the memory resistance line. Like SPY, there is no swing trade opportunity using the daily chart. Dow Jones Industrial ETF DIA weekly created a sharp reversal. Daily is inside a very wide triangle pattern created by memory resistance and support. Looking back, the bullish headwinds in the daily chart could catch the very bottom and earlier the bearish headwind in the daily chart could catch the very top. Right now it is inside a triangle pattern. You may wait for price to break out of the triangle pattern before taking a directional trade. Another approach could be to see if DIA can come back to the memory support line and reverses from there. And then take a very low risk reversal trade if it does that. Right now there is no swing trade entry opportunity in DIA. Russell 2000 ETF IWM also created a sharp reversal in the weekly chart weekly has displayed the bullish headwind signal. If you watched the last Monday morning meetup, then you would know that this bullish headwind started appearing from Monday itself. Based on that, on the daily chart from Monday onward, you would look for trades in the long direction only. You would probably use Q fine tune real time chart for making precise entry in the long direction. IWM went up and those trades would have been pretty profitable. Right now IWM is some distance away from the recent low. 
and it is inside a wide triangle pattern bound by resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom this is not an area where you might take any swing directional trade if we combine the analysis of the market breadth and the market ETFs then we see that both are in sync under such a situation you may avoid taking swing trades using daily charts instead you might move to fine tune intraday charts if you wanted to take very precise entry in either long or short direction though the market is indecisive going to sector industry level and then further drilling down into fundamentals and technicals you are always able to find low risk high probability trade opportunities four week sector performance we are analyzing 11 sectors across four review periods the red bars represent performance of this week green bars represent performance of one week prior to the red bar and the blue bars represent performance of two weeks prior to the green bar together they represent four weeks or about one month of performance this week all the 11 sectors went up energy barely showing a bullish picture at the sector level nine of the sectors except real estate and utilities reversed from previous week's loss you can see the reversal from the green bars coming to the left of the zero line most of them and the red bars all of them coming to the right of the zero line this reversal was also evident from the market ETF weekly candles non-defensive sectors did better than defensive sectors healthcare infotech communication services industrials and financials did much better than defensive sectors like utilities consumer staples etc if this movement continues there may be some lucrative buy opportunities in fundamentally strong stocks that were beaten down in the past few weeks utilities was the strongest sector for past several weeks however now it is the most decelerating sector you may protect profit in this sector stocks using a trailing stop a logical trailing stop level can be decided using the q protection signal let's have a look at the sectors using q edge sector industry analyst here we are looking at the sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days 5 days etc 5 days represents performance of this week cyan color represents strength magenta represents weakness other than the sector score and heat map shown under the 5 days column you can find the accelerating and decelerating sectors from the base 5 days column this shows sectors that may be behind and then starting to go up strongly accelerating sectors these are shown by cyan color decelerating sectors are shown by magenta color under base 5 days column you can see that utility sector which was very strong earlier the best performing sector earlier cyan color score 11 is now the most decelerating sector shown by magenta color under pace column that is why if you are holding profitable long positions in utility stocks you may consider booking profit or at least protect profit using trailing stop where to look for buying opportunities now that would be in healthcare and infotech both are very strong now and you may avoid taking long positions in consumer staples and energy energy as a sector is weak for a long time magenta all throughout it is not a time to take 
long trades in energy stocks yet neither is it probably time to take new shots because the sector had been weak for a very long time using this sector scorecard and heat map you can have broad idea of which stocks to buy and which stocks to sell you will have a much clearer idea when you drill down into the industry level best performing industries of this week we are looking at their 5 days and 10 day scores these are the best performing industries therefore you would look for buying opportunities here casinos and gaming is one of the strongest industries on 21st november i had shared a bullish view on PENN. On that day, after I shared the idea in our traders forum, the daily candle had pulled back little bit. However, later it went up. This week, PENN went up by another 6.6%. .6%. The industry remains strong, one of the best performing industries of this week. You may look for the next low risk entry opportunity in the long direction in coming days. This is the trade idea on PENN that I shared in our traders forum 11 days ago. That was on 21st November. At that time, the chart looked like this. In the weekly chart, I noticed that it came to the watermark support level in the weekly chart and reversed from there creating a false downside breakout. The weekly candles for two successive weeks had long lower tails showing that the bulls are supporting price. Also activities were very high in successive weekly candles showing possible exhaustion of bears. In the daily chart, it displayed a bullish headwind signal and then pierced above the memory trend line resistance. Based on all those bullish signals, I suggested that there could be a possible buy opportunity in PENN. At that time, as we always do in Q360 degrees analysis, I looked at PENN's industry and fundamentals as well. The industry was very weak, magenta, for a long time and just on that day it became very strong. The daily score turned cyan and the pace 5 days column showed that the industry was accelerating. Using this real-time analytics I could identify a turn around industry before market close and then I could drill down to look for fundamentally strong stocks. PENN was one of them. The cyan color under valuation column showed that it had optimal valuation and the EPS quarterly columns showed that it had strong earnings growth in all the three previous quarters. On that day, price was going up by more than 3.7% and it was very near 52 week low. That was an opportunity to buy a fundamentally strong stock at a very low price level as it was turning around and as the industry was also starting to turn around. How is the industry now? From Q edge, we can see that now the casinos and gaming industry is strong for multiple review periods from 1 month to 10 days to 5 days. All of these sales are in cyan color. Earlier it was magenta. Remember 11 days ago when I shared the analysis on PENN, that time casinos and gaming was just starting to turn around from magenta to cyan over one day period. And now it is cyan for multiple review periods. This is a live example of how using the real-time QH analytics you can catch an industry just as it is starting to turn around. 
fundamentals of the stock PENN continues to be strong. How is PENN's technical charts? In the weekly, it is continuing to go up. This week's candle shape is mixed. It has hollow body but long upper tail. In the daily chart, now looking back, you can see that the bullish headwind could catch almost the very bottom. Since then, price is steadily going up. You could look for a buying opportunity now in two ways. Either you may wait for it to pull back little bit and then go up again, giving a go with flow trend following long opportunity. Or if it breaks out of this watermark resistance level, you may look for a buying opportunity at that time. In casinos and gaming industry, you could identify the exact turning point. Is there another industry that is turning around? Yes. You can see that construction, machinery and heavy trucks was weak earlier, magenta color, and now it is turning around. You may drill down into this industry to look for buying opportunities. You will look for them in fundamentally strong stocks. In the Monday morning meetup, I will drill down into this industry and look for buying opportunities using live system. Like you will look for long opportunities in the best performing industries, you will look for short opportunities in the worst performing industries. These are 10 of the worst performing industries of this week. We are looking at their 5 days and 10 days course. Packaged food and meats is one of the worst performing industries. In this industry, DF is having negative earnings growth in the last 3 years and also in the recent quarter. Its industry weakened after trying to go up. Dean Foods was in a downtrend. Then it tried to go up, came to resistance, that is the declining yellow direction line, displayed the unique Q headwind reversal signal and fell down heavily from there, giving you an easy and highly profitable short trade opportunity. As earning was nearby, you could trade it using short call vertical options. This is an example where you could look at the weakness of the industry then drill down into a weak fundamental stocks and finally use the technical chart to short it just as it was reversing from resistance. Was performing industries on Q edge they are shown with magenta color under 5 days column. Package foods and meats is interesting because it was stronger earlier, cyan color, and now it is weaker, shown in magenta color. We could drill down. We can see that Dean Foods has negative earnings growth for the three yearly, two yearly, and one year period, and it also has negative earnings growth in the last two quarters. Therefore, you could identify an industry that was starting to weaken and then a stock inside that industry, Dean Foods, which was having negative earnings growth. Last step would be to look for a low risk short opportunity using Q technical charts. This is Dean Foods using Q at a glance template, weekly and daily charts. From the weekly chart, you can see it was weak for several weeks. All the candle colors were magenta. The candle shapes were also bearish. While in the weekly it was bearish, in the daily it tried to go up, displayed a bearish headwind signal, and then on this magenta color day, it broke below the yellow resistance line yellow direction line that was declining and therefore acted as a resistance. You could take a short right at the close of this day, putting stop just above recent high. 
and after that the inputs dropped sharply you could book partial profit at this price level as the industry is weakening the fundamentals are weak the stock has negative earnings growth and technically the stock is moving sharply in this case you would not like to book full profit you would book partial profit with discipline and hold on to partial position trying to let profit run and use q trailing stop using q protection signal to make sure that your profit doesn't erode in case the stock reverses up from here we also look at accelerating industries these industries were behind others but now starting to gain momentum fast we are looking at the industries 5 days 10 days scores you can see for all of them 5 days scores are significantly higher than 10 days scores showing they are accelerating apparel retail is one of the most accelerating industries in this industries gps has optimal valuation and also positive earnings growth in last year as well as last quarter on 21st november after earnings it gave a q box long setup that is a sideways market or double bottom long setup reversal trade setup and it gave the box long setup after creating a false downside breakout that would give you even more confidence to take the reversal long trade since then the stock has gone up it has hit initial profit target that is the declining yellow direction line by this friday following discipline you would book at least partial profit QH shows the accelerating industries using cyan color under pace 5 days column. Apparel retail is accelerating. You can see the 5 day score is still in between magenta and cyan. It is not one of the strongest industries right now. However, it was much weaker earlier, deep magenta, and it is accelerating. The acceleration is shown by cyan color under page 5 days column. If you can find a fundamentally strong stock in apparel retail, you might be able to buy it just as the industry is starting to turn around. When we drill down into the apparel retail industry, we instantly see GPS as a stock that is optimally valued, cyan color under valuation column. This stock has positive earnings growth in the last yearly period and also in all the three previous quarterly periods. Therefore, you now had an industry that was turning around after prolonged weakness and the stock in that industry that is fundamentally strong. The last step would be to look for a low risk buy point on technical charts gps on this weekly candle it created a false downside breakout price tried to go below the watermark support level and went back up sharply and next week that is this week it has continued to go up it has broken above the memory trend line resistance in the daily chart, price tried to go below this watermark support level and reversed immediately with a bull release, possible reversal signal. This day gave us a signal for a box long double bottom trade setup. You could take the long right at the close of this day, putting stop just below recent low since then price has gone up on friday it has hit the yellow direction line declining direction line that would be your initial profit target you would book partial profit with discipline the industry is turning around the stock is fundamentally strong and technically 
it is bullish therefore you would book partial position with discipline however you would also like to continue to hold partial position trying to let profit run just like we study the accelerating industries looking for buying opportunities we study the decelerating industries looking for shorting opportunities or at least to protect long positions that we may be holding in these industries these are the 10 most decelerating industries of this week from the scores you can see all of their five days scores are much lower than their 10 day scores showing they are decelerating remember utilities as a sector was the strongest earlier but this week it is the most decelerating sector and water utilities industry was strong earlier and now it is decelerating therefore you would be careful about any long positions you may be holding if you drill down using q edge you can see awr is overvalued it has displayed the bearish headwind signal in the daily chart and weekly has an indecisive candle at the very top it is showing weakness in the charts weakness in terms of fundamentals and also weakness at the industry level therefore you may protect profit in any existing long position using q protection signal applying trailing stop using the q protection signal and also look for potential short in coming days in q edge the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color under pace column water utilities was very strong earlier cyan color for many review periods and this week it turned weak so this industry is already weak and it is decelerating at the same time after being strong for a long time if you drill down you can instantly recognize awr as a stock that is overvalued that is shown by the magenta color under valuation primary column therefore you have an industry that is decelerating you have identified an overvalued stock you would protect profit in any long position you may have in this stock and also look for shorting opportunities awr the weekly chart shows that the stock went up strongly as the industry was also very strong now you have indecisive candle shape for two successive weeks the relative performance line this copper color line has tilted down showing that it is underperforming the market in the daily chart it has displayed the bearish headwind at the very top you can see the bearish headwind once again was very effective calling the top of the stock so far it has already come down little bit you might not use the daily chart to take a short trade right now you could either wait for price to go up little bit and till down giving us a low risk shorting opportunity or if price doesn't go up continues to fall down from here you may consider using q fine tune chart and precision entry techniques to take a shot using real time charts those were our regular topics i will analyze more stocks not only from the usa market but probably from other markets as well during our monday morning meet this is open to the public you may join by registering through this web page superiorprofit.co live class before we end let me summarize market breadth and etf study shows that the market reversed sharply this week all the etfs went up the broad indices also went up sharply nyse market index as well as two of the market etfs iwm and spy have displayed bullish headwinds in the weekly charts 
overall the market ETFs are not moving in any clear trend however because of the sharp reversal and the bullish headwinds appearing in multiple instruments if you are going to look for a trade you may look for them in the long direction of course when you drill down to the sector industry level look at stocks fundamentals and then technicals you are able to find low risk swing entry opportunities in all market conditions and we identified several of them in today's market roundup as well that is all that i plan to share in today's session thank you for attending i look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the monday morning meetup have a great weekend and trade profitably